Namaste, Namaste and welcome. This video is about my two weeks water fasting. I'm calling it water fasting but it's not exactly water fasting. I still had a cup of goat milk in the morning. Uh, I take, a, I have a herbal mixture with like seven or eight herbs mixed in like one container. Uh, with wheat grass juice powder and many other things in it so I take the, I take that uh, every morning with a glass of gold milk so other than that I only had water uh, for the first three days or four days I had a, a, a green powder like powder of the greens it's just like alkalizing your body but I just it's energizing me way too much uh, so I just don't wanted that rush of energy um, I think because of because I'm not eating anything everything is working really intense whatever I put in it's like oh shit. <laughs> it's like first time you had a coffee how did you feel like so it's kind of like everything is like that in my body now uh, even the green juice is like <laughs> It's, it's like shaking me with energy so <laughs> I had to like not take that uh, just water and my tea in the morning um, and uh, for the first five days it was awesome it was like uh, I didn't feel much uh, detox symptoms I, I liked it because I just uh, on the day fifth and sixth and seventh I only had water at that time, I really felt uh, detox symptoms, and uh, my my knees are going weaker. I'm having like knee pain and all that. So I went back to my tea with milk in the morning again. When I had the milk, it stopped. I don't know how it's my in my family. Uh, the lower part of the body is weaker in the sense uh, arthritis and like this. These bones of the legs are weak in my family. So. Um, I need to take care of my calcium intake and all that and also I I belong to Pitta family in Ayurveda. Pitta is fire. Uh, there are three kinds of body types. The first type is Vata which is ruled by air, air sign. They are thinner people. Uh, Pitta is uh, ruled by fire. They are medium to athletic build and Kapha is ruled by earth. They are chubby to heavy. So these are the three body types in Ayurveda. So I belong to Pitta and uh, it's like my digestive fire, my stomach acid is very high. So if I don't take care of it, it'll eat calcium from my bones. So I had to like cool, cool it down. So uh, that's the reason I had this cup of milk in the morning and uh, it was amazing. Like. Uh, Day seven was really hard for me. Sixth and seventh days, holy fuck. Sixth and seven days are like, <laughs> they're intense, intense. My meditations got really deeper uh, because there is no food and the energy doesn't go into the stomach to digest it. Because it'll take a lot of energy to digest the food. And uh, I, really, I really didn't need to. Uh, my mind is craving things, but body-wise I was fine. So... Uh, I broke it, broke my diet with an apple uh, and uh, and a date like one date. Um, is it good to break it with an apple? I don't know. I that's what my craving was. That's what my body was calling for. So and it didn't cause any upset for me. It was awesome. Like I felt really good eating an apple. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> the flavor is like after two weeks, like. <laughs> It's like burst open <laughs> like it's like a gift from nature like true gift so <laughs> it's like first time i found an apple so <laughs> it felt like that so yeah i was uh, there are many other ways to break a uh, uh, fast but i chose an apple i i i felt like it i just felt it so i just i want to go with my body rather than watching an YouTube, YouTube video or an article, reading about an article. I don't like to go that, go in that way. Um, it's better for me to listen to my body, whatever it says. Uh, and apple was a very simple thing to break and it's like, uh, it was good for me. Uh, generally, f uh, fruit or fructose is not, they say it's not good uh, to break your fast on. Few people say it, but 
uh, I don't care about it. I'm good with an apple. It's it worked out amazing for me. So uh, when I was going through my dark night of the soul um, a few years ago, I had an apple a day. Just ate an apple a day for like probably ten to twelve days or something. So I didn't. It's 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 apple is always there for me. I don't know why. <laughs> That's like it has fiber, it has everything. So it's just not just the sugar. Apple has a lot of fiber. So uh, the main part, I didn't do it for weight loss. Weight loss was losing weight was not my problem. My problem is my mind. I want to have more control on my mind. This whole thing, I my. Uh, I had to do this for my friend. For the first first week, I decided that I only thought that I would do it for like one week. It's like paying respect to my friend who passed away this year. Uh, it was uh, it was amazing. Like the idea I had to like you know do this fasting for a friend. Like I never did fasting for someone. <laughs> Even though it's for someone, it's still for me. It is just for me. So, but it's I just can't understand how this happened. So, anyways, it it just meant to happen. So, um, I didn't check my weight yet. Uh, last time I checked, I lost like twelve lbs, I guess. So, uh, and uh, I I still I still continue this. I even though I ate an apple, it's like I'll continue like alternate days and like then intermittent fasting and this whole month till probably whenever I feel like it I'll just fast it's not like uh, so I decided that let's not worry about the weight part let's go how deeper I can go and learn the lessons I can and then at so some point of time when I when I'm like having two or three meals a day maybe two meals a day I don't like eating three meals a day so when I'm going when I decide that Right before uh, I took the I take the decision, I'll take a picture of my weight to see how much I lost. <laughs> because uh, doing fasting for weight loss is uh, is a good thing, but for me, uh, I want to use the time. Fasting is very spiritual to me. It's amazingly spiritual. It it's not easy. Especially when you're focusing on yourself, where there is no distraction. Uh, I remain mostly in silence for these 14 days. Um, but when you get down into yourself and you're fasting, that'll be very hard to do. If you don't have tools like meditation and other things to do. Even with meditation, it's, it's, it's going to make your life a little harder because your mind it's used to certain food. See, the first thing when we are depressed or when we are sad or when we are moody or like, you know, it's like when we, when we get bored, the first thing most people will go is to food. Food comforts us. So the, I did that too. When I was going through my awakening, when things were not going right in my life and when my relationship ended, there's so much stuff going on then definitely I did depend on, on food for my happiness at that point in time. It's a phase of life. But the thing is, the mind is used to, to certain kinds of food whenever your discomfort triggers in you. It'll crave for that, for that food which comforted that discomfort. So I was like, I had to go back to 20 years uh, of my life. I, I remembered Memories from 25 years old and 20 years old. This is crazy. <laughs> this is, I was not expecting that. Because uh, uh, all the things I said, this is good food, this is like amazing food, from, from my childhood to now, my mind is making it so hard for me on day 7 that the cravings are so darn intense. <laughs> it's fucking intense. <laughs> and it's like, uh, it's it's... It's like I said these are good, so all those memories are like coming up and like 
I had to work on them to let it go. It's like I told myself that, hey, this is my past. I'm, I'm in this moment right now and I'm fasting. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. So all the work I did on letting go, surrendering uh, to the experience I'm having and the, and the, and the things I'm learning, two weeks of amazing time like awesome time i'm really happy i'm very very grateful <laughs> i'm in gratitude for sure for these two weeks it's amazing so uh, going a little deeper into uh, the experiences i had meditations were amazing oh my god meditations just got so deep the clarity is like it's mind blowing it's just glimpses of deep clarity which is opening up the problems and the perception i had and how i'm seeing the world and it's like it's, things are changing so it's when, when when our perception changes the way we understand things and the way we look at the world changes so in my own patterns of my own mind see when we have anger or when when we have a negative emotion what will happen is if we repress that negative emotion that repression blocks the energy somewhere in the body it's called muscle memory so what fasting does is it'll open up all those repressed feelings which we don't even know how many repressed feelings we had since our childhood it's like if you're being controlled by your parents, by your teachers, by whatever, like, you know, your friends or peer pressure, all this crap which we don't want to do but didn't want to do but had to do or forced to do, all that stuff. It's like somewhere in the body, it'll, it'll store itself. And I, it's like fasting opens all that up. Fasting kind of like burns it. It's kind of like it'll, it'll open that memory to release it. So that's one good reason and uh, my body became like softer and like almost like a woman I would say. <laughs> it feels good though, it feels really good because it's all the tight fat I had is kind of like loosened it up and hydrated it with like since I'm having water my, my body feels really hydrated. Um, and uh, what else we got? Meditations were amazing though, oh my god, it's like. I'm very grateful for these two weeks. It's just super awesome. The things I've discovered and uh, uh, see everyone has a pattern of earning money, making mistakes and like uh, the way we lead our life and, and the courage we have, the level of courage we have and like all the, all the levels we have and how to improve it. Every, every one of us will have a program given by our parents or schooling and all kinds of things. But the thing is, I want to go deeper and balance spirituality, money, love life, women, sex and uh, health. All these needs to be balanced. It's like... Uh, See, when we tend to go into spirituality, we think that money is not important. But no, no, I don't think so. I thought that in a way, but I would not accept this at all. Spiritual people need more money. They are good people. They are nice people. <laughs> they, they put it to good use. They need more money. Uh, and when we, when we ask for more money, when we are thinking or to earn more money, the desire to earn money or to like you know be comfortful and see what the world has to offer or travel a bit and all the desires you have that's coming from your own soul from deep down it's expressing itself in that way so and i decided that i want to earn money good amount of money i definitely want to be rich how i'm gonna do it it's like in the next five years, I'll surprise myself. It's it's it'll take five to ten years for the for the view I had to build it, um, and uh, I don't want to rush this process at all. The first part in my personality or my body or myself is spirituality. In the sense, 
spirituality is a pretty fucked up word nowadays it's like god the word god is very fucked up <laughs> it's used in so many ways it's like i don't even want to use those terms but by by when i'm saying spiritual it means that seeking my own self liberation seeking my own enlightenment going deeper into my own soul and realizing it uh so this part comes first for me and next part is my goal or my purpose or whatever you can call it i don't say it's a goal or a purpose but for us to understand i can say it as a goal to earn money to be successful in what i want to do and that has a deeper purpose i would keep that purpose for myself uh the way i want to earn money and stuff it has a reason and it's not just based for charity and stuff when that's like you know that'll come up later part in our lives but i have i have a view where that money needs to fund all the other things it's, it has to fund my spiritual seeking it has to fund my love life it has to fund my health so but that shouldn't be the sole important other than these three other than spirituality love and health they all are balanced i want everything to be balanced the wisdom coming from the spiritual side of myself from meditations and reading books and like learning from nature and all that and the second uh, part uh, is the is the way i want to earn money and uh, i chose trading as my thing online trading and uh, the third part is love life love life comes like partying going out and you know it's all kinds of things the entire love that deep love i feel for myself which i want to share with with a woman um uh, that part and uh, the health part all has to balance itself nothing should take from the other three and make itself important i want all of them to be equal and all of the, them to be functioning within each other for each other and i'll remain in the center of these four so it's like i always remain in the center because i'm important for myself um this is my understanding in this two weeks it's an experiential understanding it's not somewhere i read somewhere i thought somewhere i got it from this i experienced it i've seen how it would feel like if we, if these four are balanced and how to balance these four so this happened in my meditation and uh, oh my god this is so good it's like it showed me my own patterns of and programs and um the things i need to do to improve myself and uh, where am i lacking and why am i lacking why i can't handle a lot of money why do i think that what is money for so far it's an it's an idea of transaction it's an idea of equal transaction we can give that belief to gold we can give that belief to silver we can give that belief to paper we can give that belief to computers whatever we all agree that will become the money money is just energy for me and i don't want to deny energy no no <laughs> yeah, i would like energy it's good <laughs> so and uh, these four balancing these four is my priority in my life all of this has to sync together it's a lot of work it's not easy it's like saying it is easy but doing is not uh, but i'm very excited to begin this journey it's like it's like a new birth this whole year i just i'm i'm just born this year so i'm excited for the for the next 5 to 10 years what i'm going to do and <laughs> because uh, the wisdom i had I have inside me after my own kundalini awakening this year it's uh, it's such a blessing even when things are i dealt with pretty stressful situation uh, yesterday uh so i don't want to go into details but it was very stressful but the thing is i still laughed <laughs> doesn't matter whatever the situation is my laugh is not stopping <laughs> so <laughs> i'm very grateful for this like this whole year is like such a blessing to me this is this year is the very toughest year in my entire life 
compared to all the uh, all my since since the time I was born last two years I would say was really really tough this year it is even like it just everything was everything was leaving me in the sense when we have okay this, this is what an awakening means right transformation means a true transformation I lost almost all my friends I lost almost all my money I lost my marriage I lost my I quit my job and there is no job for me right now so and the more important thing is I lost connection with myself I lost everything there is nothing much to lose in my life I was close to my own death so this is what an awakening and transformation is <laughs> would you like one <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> transformation is pretty hard change transformation and kundalini awakening are not something joyful the joy will come later but when we are going through the awakening it is burning your past it is burning who you think you are at that point of time you'll think that you're really dying and it it's really a kind of like a death happens it's your rebirth happening actually with new consciousness clearing all the clutter of illusions and delusions and theories and belief systems and so many things you you acquired and also people dump on you since the moment you were born that will get washed away when that is getting washed away your mind will cling to who you think you were that's that's the point in time things will get intense so i lost everything i have i have like almost nothing this is the beginning this is how a transformation begins itself from right there it's like a new life you have nothing to lose <laughs> anything like stressful situations or whatever happening i fucking lost everything so <laughs> what is there to worry about <laughs> we all are going to die anyways one day right so why you worrying so much just to handle even though it's like stressful situation or whatever just handle it and uh, that wisdom is there that's that's like i wouldn't trade this for anything in my life i just yeah i'm not even drinking coffee <laughs> or tea <laughs> even caffeine I'm, i don't like to take it it's very rare that i take caffeine because uh, i don't like to move the clarity and the and the connection i have with myself right now for anything i don't care it's for people it's for things whatever i don't care i would not lose the connection i have with myself so because uh, it is so clear things are so clear and this this fasting was such a blessing that it showed me uh where i was going wrong and uh, um when i lost all my money in trading um uh, this year almost all all of it uh what happened was uh, there was i had to i had to go back to see where how this happened uh there were moments in my life when things were coming to me i didn't pay my gratitude to it nothing happens just like that my whole life is always in synchronicity everything is synchronous in my life not one single thing is not synchronous it's too much to count so i just let it go i i don't even want to count how many things are synchronous in every day of my life so i want to go why things and see why things are not working for me this year all the things which didn't work for me which used to work for me why are they not working for me so i had to go back and like see all the things and there were there were moments when everything is going right in my life i didn't pay my gratitude to the universe this is kind of illogical to explain because uh this is my experience unless people go through these things they can't understand it it's it's beyond logic uh but in my view this is the one i'm thinking that there are there are certain moments 
when uh, when I was peaking in my life, when in two, from 2012 to 2015 was my peak of my life. Everything I'm touching is becoming gold. Whatever I do, I'm successful in it. It's like I'm going in that in that zone. And uh, in that in that time, there were there were few moments I very distinctly remembered because I had my inner person telling me that you need to be grateful for this whatever the things you, you you're getting right now in your life and i didn't i didn't care for that at the time so it has its own way of taking things away the universe has its own way of taking it away from you to teach you a lesson and i needed that i really badly needed that i'm very grateful that i lost almost everything <laughs> it sounds weird but i'm really 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 grateful because i needed to learn the lesson it's uh, because uh, I know that I'm going to earn money in the future. It's coming. I can feel it. For the next five to seven years, I'm going to earn money. There's no doubt in that. But the thing is, how much money can I handle? And uh, what is the number? And why not more? I questioned all these things. Watch my program. Watch my childhood program about how I thought about money. How were my parents? And how are my relatives, my friends? my neighbors, what do they think about money? What did I thought about seeing all these people about money? I went down to all the things and I had to deprogram everything. Learn from movies especially and like, you know, there's so much I learned from the things I shouldn't learn. Uh, so I need to like let go all those, uh, those beliefs or the way I learned it, I had to let it go because that has a threshold and it'll end at some point. It's not for earning big money. It's good for a middle class level earning of money and like keeping myself in fearful state and saving all the time. This is the pattern of my family and like, you know, the way I learned it from. I needed to let that go. That's like, that's not going, that's not my way of dealing with things, with these things. I had to let it go and leave the past in the past and like bring myself into the present moment and work on myself. Uh, so this I need to I needed to get down and like in my meditations it's, it's such a blessing to see all these things right. I started contemplating on things and uh, the thing is uh, when everything goes right I stopped asking the universe or Shiva which I call that, that energy, that primordial energy which created everything before the creation happened, that source of consciousness which spread and evolved into all these things, I call that energy as Shiva. Also, Shiva means that which is not because it's nothingness. It's, it's out of nothingness, everything bloomed. It's in nothing, nothingness, everything is still blooming. If you see, the whole universe is in the nothingness. It's, it's in the emptiness, it's in silence, because silence is, the, silence is the thing which enables the sound to be. The sound exists because of the silence. If there is no silence, sound has no significance. Silence is so deep. So, I want to focus this time in this meditation about the unmanifested matter. The matter we call dark energy or like um, dark matter, whatever we call it, which is which we can't see, but everything is coming out of it from nothingness. If you see a mustard seed, it's empty inside. But look, look up a mustard tree, Google it up and see the pictures, how big the tree is. If you see a bunion tree seed and the seed is empty inside, mustard seed is literally empty inside. You can crack it, it's nothing inside. But, but the tree, you see how, how the evolution is happening from nothingness? I want to focus on that energy this time. Because uh, it's one life and it's running out. It's running out really quick. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. <laughs> so, and uh, the, the, the mentality and the mindset of scarcity, uh, which is steeped into everyone's mind, and it's like, why, why to speak about everyone's mind, just into my mind. So, 
the way I learned it and how to get into abundance mentality, there is, there is, in my view, there is no poverty. There is only abundance. Poverty is in the mind, not universe created so much for everyone. We can, we all, we all have enough to survive and to thrive. And what is it that which is keeping me? I only need this much. I don't need that much. I don't, in my view, I didn't wanted a lot of money because I don't know how to handle it. I denied the money when I'm earning it. Subconsciously, this happened. This is my program. So subconsciously, it happened to me that this is this is the way I said it. Like I earn the money and spoil it. I earn the money and lose it. This is the pattern because. I lose it, subconsciously I will lose it, I'm preparing to losing it because my program of me thinking that I cannot handle more money is keeping me not earning it. There's a certain level I go to that point and I find a way to like lose it. It happens very subconsciously. So I had to work on all these things. Um, in this uh, fasting, I improved my willpower a little more than what it was before. I can say I perfected it, there's no way. I could, I could say that I perfected it or like I'm too far from that. But at least I had this glimpse of total willpower, how it feels like in my meditations and like when I'm contemplating on it. It's such a good experience. So I'm, I'm very, very grateful for these two weeks. It's like, oh my God. That's one of the reasons I don't want to stop this. It's like, uh, but just like one meal a day that to a light meal, uh, uh, or if I don't feel like eating, I'm not gonna eat. Because uh, the clarity part is amazing because your body starts cleansing itself. It starts healing itself. You're giving time to all the body parts to work and clean itself. And uh, it kind of like lowers your cholesterol and just so much cleaning it'll do in your body. It's like, it's like, you know, we keep eating and eating and eating and eating and like we need to give this break for the body to like, I, I think that, not I think, I'll do uh, like two weeks fasting at least once every six months or for our one year definitely for sure there's no doubt i need to give this rest maybe like you know one week or two weeks uh in six months is a good idea uh it's like it's just so good because it'll clean the clutter and uh, the main part is it'll 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 open the muscle memory which things are hidden inside you your pain body and all that so it'll give me a chance to work on it and uh, I can focus better and the clarity is just another level altogether the clarity is just another level the meditations are really really amazing I definitely like uh, encourage you to do fasting if you're into meditation definitely do fasting it will be tough that's what we're doing it for because uh, you have to dig in, not just play on the surface level, go deeper into your mind. Uh, and meditation, uh, fasting will allow it. It will make our life a little miserable <laughs> initially <laughs> when we are building our willpower to overcome the mind and uh, show that we are the leader, not the mind. It's, it's such an awesome thing. I'm like, Oh my God, I just can't believe how much I was missing <laughs> by not doing fasting earlier. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very happy with this, with this two weeks of, of fasting. And uh, I learned so many things. It's like so hard for me to articulate as of now. It's like, it's, it's so fresh. It's like, it's so fresh information that I couldn't like I didn't even describe it to myself yet. There's so much it's in my head. It's like, okay, it's it's like I had to put that data down somewhere, <laughs> write in a book or like implement it and uh, make some rules and get in touch with um, 
with the dark matter or the un unmanifested energy which I call Shiva uh, more deeper into it and like uh, ask for what I really need and uh, believe that it's gonna happen there's so many things I needed to change I, I'm trying to rewire my entire mind uh, for the next five to seven years of things I want to do and uh, I try I want to like uh, improve my willpower more and more every day sharpen it and uh, get it to a point where I want to see what I did in a day to improve myself uh, I did I do so many things but now I want to organize it and see distinctly say before I go to bed that hey, this is what I did today and it, it improved me in this level it, it helped me in this level every day I want to do this so and see where it'll take me and I'm excited for this because uh, when I say earning money it's not just for comforts and stuff we need a lot of self-discipline to earn money and keep the money because it's not about the money money is just the fruit I am more focused on on the ground on the on the root first I'm focused on the soil. I'm focused on the on the manure I'm going to add to the soil, so that the fruit would be better. Fruit. I don't care about the end goal or the fruit itself. This is the journey from the seed to growing like a plant and becoming a tree, and the fruit happens. Fruit is just a consequence. It is not something I'm craving for. I used to crave it. That's how I lost all the money. When we run behind it it'll run away from you <laughs> it's like because we are not taking care of anything we're not watering the plant we're not taking care of the manure we're not taking care of the root we're not taking care of the weeds around we are focused just on the fruit and that doesn't happen fruit and then i kind of like i understood this thing a year ago but now i experienced it so it's kind of like this experiential thing is way better because of what, it'll soak into your mind and it'll never leave you so now I'm more focused on the methods of how I'm going to earn money, the strategies of how I'm going to earn money and the things I need to do to keep my mind sharp and uh, build my memory bit by bit and make it stronger and how I'm scheduling my day, how I'm using it, uh, what are the books I need to learn and the sources I, I want to learn from. There's so much I plan in these two weeks and uh, I'm very grateful for my friend who passed away. Uh, I'm thankful for his time with me and uh, finally I get to have a chance to say goodbye to him in a proper way and I'm grateful for the time I had in my meditations and this, this whole two weeks with the time it's like I feel awesome. I feel really good. I had a good feeling before it began and uh, I'm very happy that uh, everything played out amazing for me. So yeah, definitely excited about life as of now and uh, burying myself with information. A lot of good information with a lot of good people, like super awesome people. Like I'm reading a lot of books and I'm reading five books. <laughs> In like a day, it's like sometimes three books in a day, but like one chapter, one chapter, one chapter. Because I don't want to go into anything, into one subject and leave the other. Like I said, I want my spiritual side to be balanced, my love life. Love consists of many things. In my, When I say love, it's my, in my mind, it's, it's sex, it's deep love with a woman, it's party life, it's hanging out with friends, it's all, it's whatever caring for an animal everything all all of it comes into this thing whatever improves this thing um there's something called uh, there's a book called crucial conversations crucial conversations uh this is in my list i didn't start reading it but i think it will really help for uh people in a relationship to talk about things when things are difficult to talk about uncomfortable topics and subjects and stuff like that um, or anything which hurt both people 
and they're coming together to solve it and how to articulate these things and I I want to learn this and so not only this like I'm, I'm reading some books about money management there's something called the art of execution art of execution is uh, about the mistakes we do in trading that's like top 50 traders of the world their mistakes and also their what do they do to earn more money and how do the other people lose money it's like comparing these two habits of uh, of good traders and bad traders so it's like you know that part and money management books and like love life and health and i'm kind of like and spiritual side i read so many books but the one i'm focused right now is the power of now that book opened up oh, amazing to me it's like it is so good it is so good because it's like uh, there are many spiritual texts and books i read but the power of now is it's kind of like combined with therapy it's like therapeutic with also from an enlightened master so it's like it's spiritually aligned with with therapy so therapy something to me is uh, any anything which you're trying to improve yourself that part of you which you're trying to improve yourself the way you found the information about it and improved it i call that a therapy so the power of now has so many methods to deal with the pain body and how the pain is causing in the mind because it's all created by the most of the pain is created by the mind so it's it's so many levels in it and uh, i read this book before but i didn't like experientially understand this thing i didn't realize this i just like a good read when i read it few years ago but now it was i really got into this and uh, help myself doing the meditation techniques they have in it and it's it's really good uh, so yeah that for my spiritual side and i want to balance all of these and give equal importance to all of it and remain and remain in my center i do not like to rush for anything in life rushing is just when we rush it's like we are moving out of our power we just moved away because we are in rush and we can't see things at the time your intelligence stops working you compromised your intelligence there so i don't like to rush anything and i'll try to practice this in everyday activities not rushing when i'm cooking when i'm cleaning when i'm driving when i'm going getting stuff from grocery store everyday activities to low level to high level activities i want to remain in a in at ease with this and remain in my center in a, in a calm focused center it's a practice it'll take time i'm doing this since past 6 months consciously doing it since past reminding myself but i think i i need to remind this every time probably like one year more it'll imprint into my body so that i it subconsciously i don't even have to do i don't even have to remind at the time i want to grow in this level that i don't have to remind myself to be calm it just have to become auto it just have to become subconscious subconscious for me so i'm working on this as of now so it's just everything is just so good like it's picking up myself feels amazing it feels so good it's like <laughs> awesome i i kind of have so so much in my mind but uh as of now i couldn't remember i'm too joyful right now <laughs> it's like <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah so this is the update i wanted to give uh, to you guys hope it helps hope it inspires you to like you know do some fasting if you needed to uh, either for losing weight or for meditation or like you know digging into yourself more and learning about yourself more i highly highly encourage you to do fasting it's just awesome it's too good to be missed <laughs> it's like it's like 10 awesome books combined together in these two weeks you learn it from yourself so it's like this package <laughs> yeah i'm very grateful i'm really really grateful for these two weeks and uh, because it brought so many changes in my life and uh, especially for my friend and so it's so much it's like it's like flawless thank you so much for listening to me hope i inspired you or my journey inspired you 
uh, to do fasting or do do whatever you want to do, balancing your life or encouraging yourself and pushing yourself more. So lots of love to you.